Early in the morning, early in the morning, in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back with another episode of Topical Juice today. Topical Juice? Topical Tea, sorry, Topical Tea. Now, I can't lie, yeah, this one's a bit more serious. You feel me? I know we had one, two laugh in the first one. This one's a bit more serious, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll, be, and I'll, and I'll explain why. So, I'm gonna, I'm, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. I'm gonna get, I, I really wanna chill out. I, I really wanna relax for the rest of the day, but my friend Nicole and fellow YouTuber, literally, she called me up and said, listen, this, this, something's going on on social media. You need to do a story on this. I've, ch I've checked my comments now. Someone's commented on my video today saying, I need to do a story on this. I go on Instagram, I check my DMs. Someone's messaged me saying, yo, you need to do a video on this. So I thought, you know what, God damn it, I'm gonna do a video on it. <laughs> so listen, Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Smash the like button for me. Smash the thumb, the other button for me, the bell. Subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into this. So, what does the title say? The title should read something like Rochelle Humes, or whatever her name is. Rochelle Humes, I don't know, whatever. Rochelle Humes replaces Candice Braithwaite in new documentary. Now I'll explain. If you guys don't know, if you haven't seen on, on social media or whatever, a documentary is going to be coming out soon and it's all to do with black women in hospitals basically now if you guys have been watching me for a long time and watching all my videos i told you a while back that i was going to do a video about how racism infiltrates the healthcare system a lot of black mums died during um, childbirth and things like that and how racism infiltrates the healthcare is that how white people view black people so there's a, there's a whole story behind it and I can't wait till the documentary comes out because I really want to learn more about it myself but just to give you a real very basic knowledge is that the way that white people view black people and I mean darker skinned black people I mean fully black people now yeah they view like they view black people differently like they don't need as much medicine and things like that symptoms for disease is harder to spot on black skin for instance so that so therefore they might not treat it it might go untreated or this weird, weird, strange mentality in, in white people's minds that black people are stronger, where it's police and it's like 10 police officers against one black man because they view him to be a threat, more stronger and things like that. If it's not that, in the healthcare system, it's doctors and nurses not correctly treating black women in childbirth and all sorts of in all, in all sorts of circumstances because they believe that they don't need the same medicine. It's very weird, very strange, and I'm very, very excited and I'm very happy very glad that we're about to have this conversation because a lot of people aren't ready for this conversation. Racism, I've told you many a time, racism infiltrates all areas of society, including healthcare, and I can't wait for this documentary to come out to, to explain it to everyone. That's not what this video is about. So while I'm extremely happy that this topic is being spoken about, I'm not happy that um, that Candice Braithwaite has been replaced by Rochelle. And the reason why it's quite controversial is because the original person who was going to be presenting that documentary is a black woman, a dark skinned black woman. Now I have to I have to differentiate because I'm a black man, but I'm I'm a mixed race man, but I identify as black. Does that make sense? I'm part of the black community, so I'm black, but I'm mixed race. Rochelle is mixed race. Candice is fully black. You know what I'm saying? Black, black. Black and beautiful. Beautifully black. Rochelle is mixed race. Up until a few weeks ago, Candice believed she was presenting that documentary. Why are we now hearing that Rochelle is now presenting this documentary? This is what colorism looks like. This is colorism in its in its in its all its glory. So before I get a little bit deeper, I just want to show you how the story kind of unfolded. So initially, the news broke that Rochelle was doing a documentary. Amazing, you know, amazing. No one, no one better than eyelids. You know, she's part of the black community. Cool. No, no one was really thinking she's mixed race, or no, no, no one was really taking that into consideration. She's a black girl, or whatever, and she's talking about something that needs to be spoken about. Amazing. So I'll, I'll read the po the post and then I'll talk about how it unfolded. It reads, "Hey gang, I'm currently making an investigative documentary." Looking behind the shocking statistics that in the UK, black women die during pregnancy, childbirth, and shortly after at a rate of more than four times that of a white woman. I want to find out why that why this is, and have met some incredibly brave women as part of my investigation into what's going on. Into what's going on. This is a very difficult and sensitive issue, but I think in order to make a change, it's really important to give a voice to families that have lost loved ones in, of this nature. 
I'm hoping in making this film, it leads to tangible changes and solid commitments to bringing these rates down. That's my goal. Now, don't get me wrong, that's amazing. As I said to you in this video, that is a topic that people need to talk about. Because a lot of people don't understand how racism can infiltrate healthcare. You think that when you're, you're a doctor, you just think you just treat everyone. That's not how it works. I mean, they, they do treat people, they do treat everyone, but how they treat people is different. How a white person is treated, how a white person is treated in hospital is very different to how a black person is treated in hospital. A white woman in pregnancy is very different to how a black woman is treated in, in, in pregnancy. And you just think in 2020 things will just be equal, but it's just not, it's not. <laughs> it's actually not at all. So now, where does it get complicated? It gets complicated because yesterday Candice released a post of her own and it reads this. Well, that got interesting. I appreciate the love and support. The truth is, up until six weeks ago, I thought I was going to present that documentary. I had been contacted in March of 2020. It had been an ongoing discussion for the last nine months of the year. I'm not sure what happened, but it's not meant to be. Although it will always be something I'm passionate about, I have to set my ego aside because it's not only, because it's not only I who tried to highlight the disturbing data when it came to black women dying in childbirth. It's a group effort. It always has been. So as guided as I was, the message remains the same. And it's such a serious issue that we should hold space no matter who is narrating the story. Why is this happening? And what can we do to fix it? Hopefully documentaries, books, and most importantly, listening to black women will help fix things. This is such a beautiful and humble response, but she, she has every right to switch. Now, as I said, I'm glad this is a topic that people are speaking about, but why is a black woman yeah, being replaced by a lighter skinned person? whether it's mixed race, light skin, whatever the hell you want to call it. We all have, we've, in, black, in black language, we call light skin, light e, mixy, mixed race. We, we, there's all these random ass names, you know what I'm saying? So why is a black woman being replaced by a mixed race woman? Now, don't get me wrong. You lot know I'm pro-black. In my mind, I identify as being black. However, it would be naive and ignorant of me not to understand my privilege. Now I do, as much as I've dealt with alarming amount, amounts of racism in my life, I've also enjoyed a life of privilege. And, and there is privilege that comes with having softer features and so, soft, being closer to the white side, softer skin color, things like that. Very real privileges. Colorism in its, in its, in its form. A, someone who's lighter skinned or closer to the white side, whatever, be it having more benefits and getting more privileges than my darker skin queens and darker skin king kings you feel me it's not fair now i told you lot this week or last week that i got invited or um someone contacted me from bbc to do a documentary about colorism yeah because someone from little mix is doing a documentary on colorism uh leanne leanne whatever her surname is leanne the the mixed race girl from thingy now, don't get me wrong, it's great that we're talking about colorism and it's great that she's talking about her experience. I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm sure she's dealt with enough colorism and enough racism being in a white pop group. I bet she's dealt with loads of colorism and racism. But once again, why is it someone mixed race talking about this uh, topic? There is not a league table. I can promise you that now. If you have darker skin color than me, it doesn't mean you know fuck all more about being black than I do. It means you're black, but it doesn't mean anything about blackness. Because there's, there's people who have darker skin color than me that ain't done shit for the, for the culture. They ain't done shit. <laughs> they ain't done a goddamn thing. If you have darker skin, you are black. And no one can take that away from you. But blackness has a bit more, there's a bit, there's a, there's a bit more nuances. However, once again, why is it not a black person talking about colorism? Like fully black. Do you understand? Because colorism benefits people like me. It doesn't benefit so someone who's black, black. The reason why I think this is a serious problem here is that this mixed race girl, as much as it's amazing that she's highlighting an issue, I don't think, I personally don't believe the issue impacts her as much. Now there's obviously gonna be some people in the audience that don't understand how racism infiltrates the healthcare system or how colorism impacts the healthcare system, but it does. And often in society, we get lumped together as blackness. You know, police would view me as black. How many times I got stopped in my nice car back in the day and this, this and this, how I got stopped for looking like a criminal or whatever, you understand? But in society, we're not always lumped together. Being in colorism benefits me. So how people view someone who's mixed race is different to how someone who views someone who's black, darker skin, full of features. This is something 
that she should be talking about because it actually affects her way more. It affects Candice way more. Now, it might affect, the, don't get me wrong, there's going to be some mixed race people or some lighter skinned people who probably have been negatively impacted in the healthcare system. Of course, that's what you have to understand about the world. It's not black and white. There's grey areas everywhere. Life is a spectrum, of course. But at the end of the day, yeah, on average, the, 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 the rule of thumb on overall, dark skinned people are negatively impacted in the healthcare system. It's just the way it is, statistically speaking, that's the way it is. The black people or the, the, black, pe the black people that die in hospitals, they're dark skinned. They're not black the way I view myself as black, you feel me? So it is, it does infiltrate. If we're looking at a documentary about how black women are being failed and let down by our system, our healthcare system, it should be a black woman doing it. Now, if they asked Rochelle at the, at the beginning, all right, cool, it should still be a black woman doing it, but it's less bad, okay? She's a black girl anyway, and she, she's, a, she's kind of a, a lighter skinned black person. She can talk about this issue, fine, in terms of highlight the issue. But the fact that they actually had Candice ready, ready and raring to go, who's been fighting for things like this for a long time, yeah, they, they had her ready and raring to go, all nice and planned for nine months just to then replace her. But this is a prime example of color, colorism in its finest. Colorism in its finest, how we view, how we view the softer feature people, your Rihannas and your Beyonce's, how we view softer features as more attractive and things like that. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Now, you will get some people in the audience that just don't see it. You get some people in the comment section that can't see it. They'll see it like, take it from me. Take it from me. I am a pro-black person. Very pro-black, but I'm mixed race. No one can take away my blackness from me. So if I can understand my privilege and, and, and kind of see how it impacts me and impacts others, you should, you should probably just take my word for it. If you don't believe that colorism exists, for example, this ain't a good look. And I'll be honest with you, it wouldn't surprise me if this is the BBC. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. Not a good look at all. This is what colorism is. Exactly what colorism is. The, 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 the closer you are to the light, the closer you are to white, the benefit you have. And it's not, it's not like a, oh yeah, you're black, you're disgusting. It's very unconscious. This is very unconscious biases and unconscious racism within white people, even within black people. Black people are ignorant. There's a lot of black people who are ignorant as well. But anyway, that's my video done for the day. I hope that made sense. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, peace.